Hi everyone. Uh, this is our web uh, webinar hosted by uh, Taipei Medical University. Uh, it's the event of uh, Open Education Week. Today, the topic is who is looking at your OCW site. I'm Marion Wan. I'm from Office of Biomedical Informatics in Taipei Uni Taipei Medical University. All right. Uh, today, uh, we are going to uh, show you uh, how we collect the uh, uh, user data from our uh, OCW site or other site, and uh, we will show you some experience of that. So today's outline is uh, what we do and how to use these tools and uh, some of our findings. And this is uh, Taipei Medical University. Uh, we are located in Taipei. City, which is the biggest city in Taiwan. Taiwan is a small island near uh, China. Uh, Taipei Medical University is a medical professional university. Uh, we have our OCW site uh, online in uh, 2007, and we have first course online in 2008. Right now, we have 72 courses. Because we are medical professional university, so most of the OCW content are health science related, such as medical, dentistry, nursing, and we also have some general education course listed on our uh, OCW site. Uh, TMU OCW site is built uh, by uh, EduCommons platform. Uh, it's not a, a very common uh, platform uh, using in Taiwan, but I know uh, there's a lot of uh, university in in the world are using this platform. Besides of the EduCommons platform, we have uh, a lot of different platforms to deliver our content. For example, we have uh, My2TMU, which is our major uh, e-learning platform. And in Taiwan, I know uh, most of university are using uh, e-learning platform as their uh, OCW platform. So the major platform right now, I think in Taiwan is the Moodles. Okay. Uh, besides of e-learning platform, but in in TMU, uh, we are using different platform, and also we have different uh, other platforms such as we have podcast platform and we have a uh, slideshow platform. And because we have so many platforms, we really want to know uh, uh, some data of our users and uh, some behavior of them and. Uh, from that, we can know uh, some uh, particular uh, analysis. And the most important, we want to know th if they have uh, the new benefits on our site. Uh, this is the feature of learning uh, analysis. And uh, the the first step is to know uh, if this is useful, and we get that information from the access data. So we want to know who is visiting and from where. And uh, for their profiles, we can just get some information, but not every all the information. Yeah. And the web analytics metrics is based on individual page and the segmented page and the aggregate page. And we collect data from count and our ratios, and we can set up KPIs so that uh, we can know we can get some performance data from uh, our website. The major uh, the major metrics of the web and analytics are bit, the the first part is the visits, how many people are visiting this page or this site. And beyond that, we have unique visitors. So that means uh, how many real visitors are visiting this site. But this is uh, uh, conceptual visitors. Uh, anyway, uh, for university, if I visit this site today, one time, and I visit this site yesterday, and one time, and the visitor will count two, 
and the unique visitor will be one. Okay, and then we will count every time on site. How many time do I spend on this site? And the bounce rate. If you visit one website and then find you find out. It's not the website you want to visit, and you will go away. So the bounce rate is calculate that. If you come here, and uh, you go away. So that's the bounce rate. Okay, and then how many pages did you view this time on you, on this website? Then you, are you new? And uh, which page? Which kind of what kind of content do you like? And user location. Where are they come from, and what kind of device they are using? So this is the basic matrix uh, we are calculating on our website, and there's some advanced metrics that uh, you can use. You can use that as well. And there's a lot of analytics solution provider in the world. Uh, WebTran, Omniture, and Google Analytics. Uh, I think these are three major parts. And uh, WebTran and Omniture is uh, installed in the server and it's calculated log, the server log. And the Google Analytics is a, a cloud service from Google and it's free. And you just need to set up an account and then you, you can just uh, put it into your uh, website and they, then the Google will account it for you. How do you get start? You just go to Google and type in Google Analytics. It will be on the first one link. The Google Analytics service is beginning in version one. Uh, today, uh, the tool we are using is the uh, Google Analytics because it's free and it's kind of easy to use. Okay, so the the Google Analytics, the first version is released in two uh, eight, and then in to 2011, uh, it's released the uh, ver uh, version two beta, and in the last year, uh, they officially replaced the version one with the version two. So the version two right now is the official version. Uh, they, the version two and the version one are a lot of difference. The interface is different and the setup is different. What's new in uh, Google Analytics version two? They have multi-channel funnels. The, uh, the funnels is the uh, version one functions, but right now they have uh, improved these functions, and then they have a better flow visualization tool, and they will have real-time reports, and they will get some social reports on social network, and then it will give you speed reports. And because of mobile devices, uh, uh, they will have they will separate the mobile usage with the PC usage. Okay, and then they have annotation functions. Okay, uh, if you want to sign in, you can just use your Gmail account or your Google Apps account. Both account can be used in uh, analytics. It will integrate in. Okay, when you log in, you will see the site overview page. It will list all the uh, sites that you, you want to cal uh, Google to calculate for you. And Google, Google's turn of this are uh, profiles. Okay, and if you want to add one profile, you can click the setting here and then uh, it, it will give you the function to add a new profile. And then if you click the metrics showing here, and uh, the list will show the basic data of this site. Oh, and then you will need a checking code. If you go into the uh, setting part, you will have you will find out this checking information tab. Tracking information tab can give you the tracking code. The tracking code is a JavaScript code. You just copy it and put it into your web page, and then the Google will trace your uh, site automatically. 
and there's a tracking code, tracking ID here. Tracking ID is, is identical to uh, each site. So this number is very important. How do you insert the Google code? You insert the Google code into the head part of the, your HTML file. In the end of the head part. And then it's the body part. You have to insert Google Code into every page that you want Google to calculate for you. And then after you put on your uh, Google page uh, setting, and you will get a report. The, the version 2 report has more visualization functions, such as they have a pie chart, and they have a column chart, and a lot of different look. And they can, you can customize your report by, uh, like, the right-hand right side. You can set up a template for this report. How do you set template report? You can you can set up uh, uh, all the data that you want on our dashboard, and for example, in this uh, dashboard we have uh, flow uh, visitors, we have contents, and we have other uh, information on this dashboard. And then, if you want the other site to be uh, just like this site, you can click the share here in the function list. And you can share this uh, template to other sites or to other university and using that in their site. In Taiwan, we have uh, built up a standard uh, uh, dashboard for each university. So uh, we just use this this way to share the uh, to share with each other. Okay, when you click the share, uh, it will give you a URL link. And then you email that link to, uh, to the other one, and when the other one click that link, uh, it will direct go to uh, this uh, page, and it will ask you, do uh, you want to use this dashboard in which profile? And uh, you can just set up your OGW site here and use the same dashboard, and then. The Google Analytics will show a uh, report can give you a better flow, so you will know uh, how many people in this uh, site, and then they go to this page, and then they go to this page. The it has uh, annotation functions so that you can uh, re record any important event here. And you can compare to your flow chart so that you will know uh, if any important uh, things that will affect your uh, data. You can set up a um, multiple manager to manage this site, and you can give them uh, different rules. And now I'm gonna to explain some best metrics and by using uh, some example. This example is using our <coughs> uh, official website, uh, the English version uh, official website. We calculate in a period of time, and uh, the total visit is about this. And we get the analytics from uh, where they are coming from. Uh, it was showing a map, and this map uh, was showing. Uh, in colors, and the darkest color uh, is the most people coming from, and also they have numbers. This kind of report is very easy to read and easy to understand, and uh, it's very good uh, for our boss. My boss like it. And uh, you can drill down into a uh, uh, very small location, such as uh, an, uh, our island, the Taiwan island. And uh, we can know uh, where they are coming from this island. For example, it's the south part, and this is the east part. And we are located here. Of course, there's a more uh, university here. 
And then we want to know uh, how do they get here. So the GA can give you information from how many uh, people are coming from search engines and how many people are coming from direct traffic and how many people are coming from referring sites. Search engine is mainly uh, Google, uh, Yahoo, and others. And direct traffic means they just type in this uh, website URL or the website address and they come to here or use their uh, bookmark to come here. And referring site means that they come here for other sites. So for example, we list our uh, university site in uh, Taiwan uh, OCW Consortium, and then a lot of people will click that uh, link and the link to uh, TMU's OCW site. And for the uh, search engine, uh, it will collect the data of keywords so we will know what kind of keywords uh, they are using to get into this site and uh, we can drill down some data so we can know some uh, uh, where they are coming from uh, uh, for example the referring site what, wh which site do they come from well, for example this here I know uh, most of people from the referring site are from my two And we will, uh, we will like to know where they are coming from. Besides of the map view, this is a pie view. So we can uh, know uh, a general idea of this. OK, and then we want to know what they want to see. So always the first uh, top page is the main page of that site. And so we usually just see the, the second one. So this is apply for admission. So we know that uh, people want go to our site are looking for this information. Okay, so we know uh, what kind of content we have to emphasize. And as the ID person, we want to know what kind of device they are using. <coughs> Excuse me. And what kind of OS you are using and what kind of device, such as the mobile device. Uh, this information can give us uh, some information about uh, what kind of site we have to build. We have to build a site that uh, we can view easily in this kind of system. For example, right now the, uh, the mobile device is very popular everywhere. So we, we begin to consider, uh, do we need to, to have uh, a mobile interface just for mobile users.